By the way, somebody said, I'm not a cursor. I'm not one who believes in being gratuitously filthy or who says things just to shock people. I know I want my thoughts to shock you, not my words. And I don't want to ever use, you know, F-bombs or whatever as a substitution of wit. But we are adults here. And there are some words that absolutely, perfectly say things better than ever. Do you know what would happen if we could on television say, especially during presidential debates, say bullshit? If we could say that, bullshit, that's it, next. Mr. Trump, your answer, your, your response to Mrs. Clinton, bullshit. Okay, next, that's it. Nobody, nobody scratches their heads. By the way, do you know, let me listen to me carefully. Now listen to me carefully, okay? Pay attention, you're going to want to take notes. How many uh, folks out here are new to this country and don't really know English that that well? By virtue of some of your tweets, I think the whole crew here. What do you type with your schwanz? What's going on here? Ooh, ooh, is that a Yiddish word? Is he Jewish? Is he a Jewish man? Retired Catholic. Okay. Now, here's the story. Especially 111. I like that. Let me explain something to you. Our language is wonderful. And especially if you're trying to to learn new languages, new, new things, you've got to understand a few things here. And one of them is you've got to understand the, the basic shits. Now, here's the way it goes, and this is important, okay? Now, follow me. You've got bull horse, ape, bat, chicken, and jack. Now, those are all different. Let me explain. When something is wrong, when somebody says something that's not based in fact, Something that's been extrapolated incorrectly, something that's been deduced differently, some, something that is something that is baseless. So somebody says, you know, you can prevent brain cancer with echinacea. That's bullshit. Okay, that and it can also be say when 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 you're angry, when you're angry, somebody says, you know, I saw you looking at my wife. That's bullshit. You know, like just say angry, it's angry. Doesn't really mean bovine egesta. You got it. It just means that now. When something is stupidly silly, really dumb, really dumb and stupid, let me center myself better here. I mean, almost comically stupid and baseless. He goes, ah, that's horseshit. It's different. There's a nuance there. Bullshit, horseshit. There's a difference. Okay, now, when you are in love with something, if all of a sudden you're into Oh, kafefe, kafefe, I pronounce it, very good. If you're into something new, you're into golf, you're into parachuting. By the way, I went skydiving twice. AFF level one, once tandem, once solo. But if you're into something new, golf or whatever, and you lose your mind in it, or you're into some hobby or something, whatever, you go apeshit over something. You're just, ah, you know, you're just, you're just beyond focused on this thing. You know, you're apeshit. If you're losing your mind, if for some reason you, you have to be taken away, if you're, if, if you're going to be sedated and put into the rubber room and straight jacket, you, you, you're, you're batshit. You're crazy. You see how these subtleties are? Now, these words mean something. They're not gratuitous. They're not, I'm not, you know, they're, they're, they're not being said just to shock. They mean something. It is breviloquence. Brevity and eloquence combine a portmanteau, a conflation. Brevity and eloquence. These are words that mean something, okay? Now, when something is, is negligible, when something is negligible, unimportant, you win some stupid, fakakta, nonsense, stupid, de minimis, idiotic, stupid award or some stupid thing. It's chicken shit. Doesn't matter. And when something is also in that sub, that, that, that sub worth level in a weird way, and then it's jack shit. I mean, jack shit to me. So those. So make sure you know those. See, our language is rich, rich. This is amazing what we do.